Here we'll go through an example of finding the oxidation numbers of each element in a compound. We're asked to find the oxidation number of each element in the compound with the formula K2S2O8. We'll start by writing the formula up here and a table over here to list the oxidation numbers. Because K is an alkali metal, or group 1 element, its oxidation number is positive 1. This is neither a peroxide nor molecular oxygen, so the oxidation number of an oxygen atom is negative 2. We don't know what the oxidation number of a sulfur atom is, so we'll call it X for now. In order to solve for X, we'll write an equation. K has an oxidation number of positive 1, so 2K atoms have a total charge of 2 times positive 1. S has an oxidation number of X, so 2S atoms have a total charge of 2X. O has an oxidation number of negative 2, so 8O atoms have a total charge of 8 times negative 2. Because there is no ionic charge written on the top right of this formula, the charges on all of the atoms add up to zero. To find the oxidation number of sulfur, we can now solve this equation for x. 2 times positive 1 is equal to 2, and 8 times negative 2 is equal to negative 16. So the equation now is 2 plus 2x minus 16 is equal to 0. Negative 16 plus 2 is negative 14. So we can say that 2x minus 14 is equal to 0. Adding 14 to both sides gives us 2x equals 14. And dividing both sides by 2 gives us x equals 14 divided by 2, which is equal to positive 7. So the oxidation number of sulfur is positive 7. Here you may want to pause the video, take a screenshot and print it, so you have the whole solution to this problem. So to summarize, we can say that the oxidation number of K in this compound is positive 1. The oxidation number of S is positive 7, and the oxidation number of O is negative 2. Remember the oxidation number of an element in a compound or polyatomic ion is the real or apparent charge on a single atom of that element. Mm -hmm.